Hello crafters, welcome to another Christmas in July video. Today we're going to be altering these Nordic baubles which I got from Poundland in the January sale um, of this year. You get two baubles and they're covered in this kind of paper design. I think they're just polystyrene baubles underneath. So we're going to be using those. And as some of you or most of you probably know, my Christmas tree in the living room is going to be kind of woodland themed. So I'm going to turn these baubles into um, birch. Now I've done numerous different faux birch um, videos, so I'll link the playlist at the end. Um, and I'm also going to be using some of my red and white pip berries, which is, are available in the store now. So that's creatorhomeyg.com. So I'm going to put those to one side. I don't need all those. You're going to need some distress. I'll show you the bottle. My first one broke, so that's why it's in here, but it's the uh, uh, Vintage Photo Distress Spray Stain. You're going to need some black paint and you're going to need some white paint. And I, I tend to use um, um, gesso. And you're going to need some um, double, not double sided tape, this is masking tape. And it's a two inch roll, wide roll, and I get this in a pack or two from Poundland also. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to tear off lengths and I'm going to put cover this ball ball and I want all the creases it doesn't have to be a perfect you don't, you're not looking for a perfect you know neat looking um, coverage you want the the texture because you want it to be like um, bark So I'm going to cover this entire bauble. One other thing you'll need is foliage. Now this is just a little um, basket that I get from Poundland full of uh, foliage because I'm always dipping into it. So now that I've got those covered, I'm, I'm going to do two. Obviously I'll just do one with you on camera, but I'm just going to if I can find my skewer, I'm just going to stake my bauble with a skewer just so I can hold on to it and cover it properly. And with my paint, the white gesso, I am very thickly going to dab my paint all over the bauble and that also adds to the um, bark effect. And I find using a foam brush much easier to do this than a traditional paintbrush because I don't want the paintbrush streaks. Okay, so even though my ball ball is still wet, I'm going to use my um, fan brush and that's one of these brushes here. Now I just buy makeup brushes from my local pound store and use those for paintbrushes because I don't necessarily need them to last forever and I'm just going to put some lines because as you know when you get those kind of black lines in birch bark and as you can see I'm just putting them in different directions you can put as many on as you like or as little on so I'm going to do so that's that done like that and then and again while this is still um, wet I am going to use my spray and that's the distress spray. I will give this another spray when it's dry because obviously as this dries it gets lighter. But I'm just going to give this a spray and I'm just going to hit it very quickly with my heat tool. And then I will put these in the airing cupboard to dry for about two or three hours. Okay crafters, these are now dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray them again with my Distress Spray. And I've just got them resting in an old, um, some old um, foam tape that's run out. So I'm just going to quickly dry those off and then we can decorate them. Okay, so I just give them a bit of another spray because as you can see when it, when it uh, dries it gets lighter. So I do like to add a bit of the uh, spray again to so it's darker in different places. And I do dab off the excess with a bit of tissue. Okay, now it comes to the fun parts, and that's the decorating. Um, I'm, I'm going to use some of these pit berries, which are a new line in the store. Um, so I'm just going to probably cut them off 
so it's like one set of pit berries per, per chop off. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I like the red and the white, especially for Christmas time. And the woodland theme, I think the red and the white goes quite well. Really looking forward to this year. I can't wait to decorate my tree. And I'm, I'm recording this video, Crafters. This is uh, a video that I'm recording, recording in um, April. And, uh, and I'm already excited. Sometimes I can't contain it, but you just have to. All right, I'm gonna use some of this as well. I don't think I'll fast forward any of this. I'll just, I'll just play it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because people just like to see what you know, the, the, the coming together process. And I have to listen to you guys because you're my viewers. There's nothing worse than trying to watch a video and it all just goes zip and you haven't got a clue what's going on. So, what else I have I've got in here? I've got a little red birdie, maybe I could use that. So I think I'm going to put on some of these call them little acorns and one thing I like to do at this before I get to this stage actually I'm going to put on my hanger just in case I get I fit up so much I can't find the uh, the the hole to put it in so I'm just going to put that through and tie it off going to build up on the top here and popping in these pit berries as well these ones together, these two, the red and the white. leaf or two maybe just add whatever feels right to you and take your time there's no rush I'm really liking the pit berries, the way they're poking out everywhere. I think I'm going to do another red and white combo. berries are three stems and they're 15 inches long and they are 50p I believe so you get three stems wide stems for 50 pence which isn't bad at all so there you go there's that one I'll decorate that one off camera and then here's one here's a, one of the first ones I did and I've got a big red and white gingham so you can make them as rustic or as as pretty as you like so there we go so thank you very much for joining Crafters. If you recreate this, come over to Creative Tone with G and share your recreation. I'd love to see it. In fact, I'd love to see any of your creations. Thank you very much for joining me today, Crafters, and you'll see me again very soon with more Christmas craft. Take care now. Bye-bye.